Hey guys, it's Pia here with a little update video of what's been going on recently. So as you probably have noticed, I haven't posted almost any videos at all in like half a year, I guess. And there are a couple of reasons for that. I'm going to explain them really quickly. And then after that, I'm going to talk about some much more important stuff like, for example, the most recent custom that I finished and also showing you a little project that I'm excited to start once it's possible. But first of all, I'm going to explain my absence. And that all starts with the fact that, uh, as you guys probably know, um, in January, YouTube introduced the stupid COPPA rules, which made it so that um, channels that are aimed for kids have problems with monetizing their videos and have no comments and stuff like that. And that really hit me hard because it's hard for me to tell whether this is a kid's channel or not. I've decided now that this is not a kid's channel. This is a channel that's actually meant for people who customize toys and who are interested in art. And if you happen to be a kid, then good for you. These are kid-friendly videos most of the time, so that doesn't bother anyone, I guess. Uh, but these are not kid-specific videos by any means, even though I customize Lilith's Pet Shops. So as I said, these videos are aimed for people who are interested in customizing or interested in art and who want to maybe get a little bit inspired from what I do. But so yeah, that's been one of the main reasons why I haven't been really interested in putting up videos on my channel. So the second reason is also that I finished my series for the Finnish TV network. Uh, it was a remake of Seven and it was really cool to make. But I did get a little bit of a burnout after that because handling one project by yourself is pretty big. And also I got pregnant <laughs> at the end of uh, last year. So working on a series and being pregnant and dealing with morning sickness was pretty tough. And speaking of being pregnant, I still am, but my second son will be born within a week or so. I'm not gonna tell you when, but I know the specific date and I'm super, super excited. And that's also a reason why I decided to put up a video now, so that I can promise you guys that even though I have a kid on the way, I definitely haven't stopped customizing and I still want to keep making videos and customs. But yeah, uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get to the more important stuff now, which is to show you a new custom that you haven't seen, which is the one that's featured in the thumbnail. It's something that I've been making during this lockdown. I watched Tiger King on Netflix, which is a really weird documentary. I wasn't super like into it or anything, but for some reason I thought, hey, I'm gonna combine the concept of rainbows with a tiger. <laughs> so I came up with this design. So I hope that you guys like this custom and here it is. Ta-da, here she is. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make something that was really colorful and that also had tiger stripes. I thought it would be super cool to make it sort of a rainbow kitty and then, yeah, make it a tiger and then give it little flowers. I actually had these flowers sculpted a long time ago and I didn't really know what to do with this custom. So I'm happy that I finally did something with her and I think that she turned out pretty cute. So yeah, I'm happy with it. So yeah, I don't know yet if I'm gonna sell this one or if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna give it to my mom as a Mother's Day gift, but um, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, I hope that you guys like her and she features rainbow colored flowers and they also have tiger stripes, some of them, because, you know, if you decide to go over the top, then you might as well really go over the top. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. But yeah, here at the end, I wanted to do a little special thing to show you that I definitely have not stopped customizing and I definitely want to keep doing that. So I'm going to show you a little collaboration between me and Pumpkins Customs. That's going to be a collection of 12 customs, if I remember correctly. And this project is particularly exciting because you guys get to vote on which one of the concepts that I have for my custom that I should make. But I'm just going to start uh, talking about it and explain more. So I'm going to swap out this rainbow colored thing for my normal mascot for this part. <laughs> so as I said, this part of the video is sort of like a promise that I will keep going and I will keep customizing even though my second child will be born any day now. And the thing is that I asked Pumpkins Customs to make me 12 bases with glass eyes. She's famous for her glass eye customs. And those were supposed to be inspired by different environments and different colors. So for each environment that I chose, I also chose a color associated with it. And she made me eyes based on those descriptions. And I'm pretty stoked about it. I think they look really cool. So by random draw, the first environment that I'm gonna start working on is a custom that's supposed to be a cave dwelling creature. And the color associated with it was white because I thought that a lot of cave dwelling creatures are usually blind and it would look cool with white eyes to show that it's kind of like a blind creature. 
So I'm gonna start off by showing you the base figure and then I'm gonna show you my three concept sketches that I made for it. Uh, they have slightly different colorings and slightly different backstories. So you guys get to choose what this custom should look like or if you think that there's a nice combination of patterns and colors that I haven't thought of, then please let me know. But yeah, here is the base for this cave dwelling creature and the glass eyes that go with it. Ta-da, here it is. As you can see, the eyes are sort of a shimmery silvery white. I really like them. I think they're gonna be super interesting and I've incorporated the eyes already in the concept sketches that I made so you can see kind of what my idea is for this custom and so this custom is not gonna have any extra sculpted parts because first of all I thought that because it's a cave dwelling creature it's better to keep it simple and second of all I just want to get to painting it really soon so <laughs> I can't be bothered to sculpt anything extra on it but here are the three concept sketches that I made. So the idea for this custom was that uh, when I was reading a little bit about creatures that live in caves, it was clear that there are three different types of animals. Uh, and the first one was animals that live mostly outside of caves, but some of their lives inside the caves, such as bats, for example, and bears and stuff like that. So that's what inspired me to make design number one. Uh, that one has kind of darker colors and they're kind of raccoon-like, and I think that it's a cool design. And then the middle one was inspired by creatures that live mostly in caves, but sometimes leave, which is... I don't know, there are certain insects, I guess, that do that. <laughs> and um, so that one, I just decided to do something a little bit lighter in coloring so that it shows that it's mostly living inside a cave. And the last concept is based on animals that live in caves only, so they never leave. Those animals are mostly very light pigmented because they don't need to have any pigmentation because they never see any sunlight and they are usually also blind so they have well usually they have red eyes but this one has white because of reasons anyway <laughs> so those are the three concept sketches that i have please let me know which one you like the most or if you like a combination of them and i'll see what you guys vote on and then i'll paint the custom accordingly so here's the base figure once more, and I'm also going to show you here at the end a couple of other glass eye bases that Pumpkin made me. One of them is another one of these environmental customs. I'm going to show you that one, and I'm not going to say what the environment is, but I thought that the eyes looked really cool, so I want to show that one off. And then I have two other ones that aren't related to this particular collection of customs, but that I just thought were cute. So I hope that you're excited to see them. Pumpkin is an amazing artist, and there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to her Instagram page in case you want to follow her on Instagram which you should do because she's awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the bases now, so here they are. So here is the second base figure for one of the 12 customs that's gonna be a part of this environment slash color collection. And the color obviously associated with this one is turquoise, but I'm not gonna tell you what environment I was thinking for this one. But I thought that the eyes looked super pretty, they have tons of glitter in them, and I absolutely love how they turned out, so thank you Pumpkin for making these. Then we have one that isn't a part of the environmental collection, but I thought that these eyes were super pretty and I really wanted to show them off. Uh, so yeah, this one's gonna be just a super super cute dreamy little custom that I'll be working on once I have time And here's a final little base with glass eyes to show you. I thought these were super pretty as well um, Pumpkin actually hand painted that little leaf in the eye. So that's super cool And I think it's really inspiring and really adorable So I can't wait to do something with this one as well So with this one I might actually swap this one out for one of the customs in the environment series But if I do that, I'm gonna ask you guys his opinion which base you prefer for that particular environment but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're excited to see customs from me in the future. Obviously, it's gonna take a little while to get used to what my life is gonna be like with two kids, but as I said, I made this video as a promise to you guys that I'm not gonna quit and I still love customizing and I'm super excited to get back into it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you again in the next one. Bye bye!